Hello, my name is Brian Sisko, and today I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough exercise out of the How to Cheat in Photoshop book by Steve Kaplan. And we are going to be exploring some different blending options. Um, so basically, what we're going to want to do here is get rid of this black box and allow the flame to blend better with the background itself as well as with the rocket here. And I'll bring you over here to show you the flame and the rocket are on both on separate layers. And we'll have two backgrounds that, we'll be, that we will be working with today. Uh, one lighter, one a little bit darker. And that's just going to show us some different blending mode options for each background. Um, so for right now, um, I'll show you some different ones with the darker background. What we want to do again is eliminate this black box. And one simple way to do that is go into your Layers panel. Go to the Blending Options drop-down menu here. And pretty much any of these are going to give you the effect that you're, that you're looking for. Um, the one used in the book here is Screen. That gives you know essentially what you want out of the image here. Let's, so let's try some different ones. The Lighten option gives you a little bit brighter contrast. The Color Dodge, maybe not exactly what you're looking for, a little bit too bright. Uh, linear dodge is a little bit better here. It's closer to the screen option that we looked at earlier. Lighter color, again, too much contrast. Not a good blend. So we'll go ahead and stick with screen for this one. Ultimately, that's probably your best option for blending modes. So we'll go ahead and we'll go and turn that back to normal on the drop down menu here. And we will hide the dark background to show the lighter background and we'll go through some different blending options now. Um, so we can try, let's see what it looks like with the screen option again from the drop down menu in the layers panel. And it still looks you know, pretty good. You get pretty much the desired effect that you're looking for. But if you switch it over back to the back, darker background, um, you'll see that you get a little better contrast. There's brighter colors in here. It just pops a little better than this one. So we'll go ahead and turn that back to normal. And now we'll explore some different options here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and double click the flame layer. Um, and that'll open the layer styles dialog box. And it'll normally default right to the blending options, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to drag this over a little bit. Make sure preview's on in your box so you can see the effect as you're making changes. So we want to go down to the blend if section and specifically this layer and what you want to do here is drag the left black triangle over just a bit and as you can see it's already dissipating a lot of the black that we don't want to see. So we'll bring it over to a value of about 25 and at this point what this is doing is it's hiding everything darker than the value of 25 in the image. So go ahead and click OK. Looks a lot better than it did, but not quite what we want yet. If you zoom in, you see you got a lot of ragged edges. It doesn't, it's not smooth. Um, so not exactly what we're looking for. But there's still options here that we can explore. So let's go back in to the dialog box. Again, make sure preview is checked. And all we can do, you can see these triangles are split into two. If you go ahead and Alt, click the right side of the triangle, it'll separate from the left side. And as you can see, it's already starting to look better. You can contrast a smoother fade. Um, Steve brings it to about 127 in, in this exercise. And what that's doing is making everything brighter than a value of 127. It's going to show it in the image. So essentially, that's what we're looking for. That's a better blend, a better contrast, a good pop from the flame. So that's another blending option. And I hope you learned a lot about blends today. And I hope you will be able to um, produce better images because of that. Thank you for your time.